Zabur Arabic, Zabawar is, according to Islam, the holy book of Dawud David, one of the holy books revealed by God before the Quran, alongside others such as the Tarat Torah of Musa Moses and the Injil Gospel of Isa Jesus. Some scholars equate the Zabur with the biblical book of Psalms. The term Zabur is the Arabic equivalent of the Hebrew Zimra Hebrew, Zimera meaning song, music. It, along with Zamir Hebrew, Zamir meaning song and nightingale, i.e., the song bird, mizmor Hebrew, mizmor meaning psalm, and zamar, zamarit Hebrew, zamar zamarit meaning singer, derivatives of the Hebrew infinitive verb, Hebrew, lazamar meaning sing, sing praise, make music. Zabur also bears resemblance to the Hebrew word for story Hebrew, sipower translate, sipper, which is plausible, as, this particular song or psalm necessarily also conveyed a story within it, sung or not. Among many Christians in the Middle East and in South Asia, the word Zabur Hindustani, Zabur Nastalik, Zabura Devanagari is used for psalms in the Bible. Topic. Introduction The Quran refers to the Zabur of Dawud David as one of God's books revealed to four selected messengers. The Zabur is preceded by the Tarat Torah, and followed by the Injil Gospel given to Jesus and finally by the Quran given to the Islamic prophet, Muhammad. Topic. Mention of Zabur in the Quran In the Quran, the Zabur is mentioned by name only three times. The Quran itself says nothing about the Zabur specifically, except that it was revealed to David, king of Israel and that in Zabur is written, My servants the righteous, shall inherit the earth. We have sent the inspiration, as we sent it to Noah and the messengers after him, we sent inspiration to Abraham, Ismail, Isaac, Jacob and the tribes, to Esau, Ayub, Yunus, Aaron, and Sulaiman, and to Dawood we gave the Psalms. And it is your Lord that knoweth best all beings that are in the heavens and on earth. We did bestow on some prophets more and other gifts than on others, and we gave to David the gift of the Psalms. Before this we wrote in the Psalms, after the message given to Moses, My servants the righteous, shall inherit the earth. Topic. Parallel of Ayah 21-105 with Psalms. The last reference is of interest because of the quotation from Psalm chapter 37 verse 29 which says, The righteous shall inherit the land, and dwell therein forever. As translated in the King James Version of the Bible, according to Aaron's 1930, the last reference is quoted from Psalms. He says that the verse in the Quran reads, We have written in the Zabur after the reminder that my righteous servants shall inherit the earth. His conclusion is that this verse represents a close and rare linguistic parallel with the Hebrew Bible and more pointedly, with Psalm chapter 37 ascribed specifically to David see verses 9, 11, 29 which refer to the meek, the righteous or those who wait upon the Lord as they who shall inherit the earth. Many Muslim scholars think that it also has reference to Exodus chapter 32 verse 13, which reads, Remember Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, thy servants, to whom thou swearest by thine own self, and saidst unto them, I will multiply your seed as the stars of heaven, and all this land that I have spoken of will I give unto your seed, and they shall inherit it forever. Topic. Zabur in Hadith One Hadith, considered valid by Muhammad al-Bukhari, says, Narrated Abu Huraira, the Prophet said, The reciting of the Zabur i.e. Psalms was made easy for David. He used to order that his riding animals be saddled, and would finish reciting the Zabur before they were saddled. And he would never eat except from the earnings of his manual work. <laughs> Zabur and Ketuvim Christian apologist Carl Gottlieb Fonder suggested that the Quran's reference to Zabur actually refers to the third division of the Hebrew Scriptures, known as the Writings or Ketuvim, a broader grouping of Jewish holy books encompassing the Psalms and other collections of Hebrew literature and poetry. <laughs> Zabur writings Zabur was a writing system in ancient Yemen along with Musnad. 
The difference between the two is that Musnad documented historical events, meanwhile Zabur writings were used for religious scripts or to record daily transactions among ancient Yemenis. Zabur writings could be found on palimpsest form written on papyri or palm leaf stalks. See also Suhuf Ibrahim Sabians Sheba References <references>